Hi everyone, Susan Gerbic here from Psychics Explained. Today we're going to go to the dogs. This is a seatbelt psychic episode. It is season one. Obviously, there's only one season of the show, uh, episode six. So I think it's near the end. I think there was eight seasons. Maybe there was only six. I can't quite remember. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at this uh, two, three minute clip of a woman uh, with red hair gets in the back seat of the car. And there's several things to note. And I'm going to play. And then we're going to stop real quick and we're going to talk about it and then we're going to go through it and let's break this this reading down okay this should be very very interesting she doesn't notice any cameras pointed at her face which is right there a red flag because those cameras are massive hold on let me show you a photo of one of them you tell me she can't see that that's right there on the dashboard. These are taken from the Thomas John experience, which is the same thing as seatbelt sighting. These are not little tiny pinhole cameras. These are massive cameras sitting in plain view. And there's at least nine because they're located on the top of the car, on the side of the car. You can see her getting in all kinds of different areas on there. So she doesn't react to him. Why does she not react to him? Because she knows she's being recorded. This is not a random pick up. This is something that uh, she knows darn well she's getting into a car with this cameras all over it. They know exactly who she is because she spilled out a lot of paperwork before she got in there. In fact, they kind of have to apply for the job first and then they end up um, signing more paperwork before they get into the car and then they get into the car. So they know what's going on. And why did she tell him that she's a tax preparer? This is her IMDB page. And that's only some of them. Now, of course, there's been ones added since she filmed this a few years ago. But there were um, quite a few on there whenever we looked at this back in the day. So why would she say she's a tax preparer? Maybe because she was told to and she wasn't supposed to say that she's an actress because that would be bad maybe she does fix ta do taxes but why would you not say you're an actress when you're getting into a car just random unsuspecting person here's her imdb page that has some of the different shows she's been on the first one there is listed is season one of seatbelt psychic so she's not no novice, okay? She's not just some random person they picked up there. Just saying. Keep in mind that if you look through the windows, well, here's that black SUV car that we've seen so many times through, uh, right behind Thomas John as he's turning, making a right turn, always making right turns. He never makes a left turn. He's always making right turns. But pay attention a little bit to the, to the what you can see through the screens. You're going to see that there are times where he's talking and then in the same sentence, it sounds like he's in the same sentence, the background is different. So in other words, a lot of editing going on because they're recording the audio completely separate from the video. What that allows them to do is manipulate what is said to, to make it much more tight. Keep in mind, I just want to point out as well that that black SUV is following behind them. You can see it through the back windshield a lot as he continues to make it left, right turns only. Very sad, right? This this woman is in grief and, you know, her. it's not a human being that she's lost, but it might as well be. It is horrible. And he got right into her business and he got her crying in seconds. And it's just sad that somebody would want to manipulate someone's feelings like this and so all that inspirational music you hear, the angels on high, that's there for a reason. It's in, it's used to invoke an emotional and it's used to invoke the pain and the wonder and the amazement that, that Thomas John's able to read the thoughts and feelings of a dog and that the Bailey has given permission for the other dog. In fact, he sent the dog. So, I mean, that made Lisa feel amazing. 
So is it a right to lie to people because it makes them feel good? You tell me. I don't I, I don't think it's right. She feels good about it. Maybe she feels wonderful about it. Maybe she feels at peace because she had to put her poor dog down. Now that Thomas John has told her so. But you know, adults aren't children. I don't think it's a great idea to placate people's feelings just to make him feel good for the moment. Maybe you would disagree. I just don't think it's a good idea. So one of the things we've noticed is that this whole episode is about dogs. And um, I find that sweet. You know, of course, that pulls at your emotions. I love my cats and I love dogs too, but I have mainly cats who would not put up with the dog. <laughs> and let me tell you, I put up a lot of photographs of my, of my cats, videos, pictures constantly. I'm, I'm doing that kind of thing. So I think it's pretty likely if somebody was to do a reading on me, they would find that I have had a lot of cats over my lifetime and I've had to, have some of them put to sleep and i thought it was interesting how he said have you lost a dog which is kind of a gray area could that mean that the dog ran away and is lost and it also fits the category of the dog died now she's she's a woman in her 40s maybe a little older of course she has had dogs die in her lifetime probably many so it's not much of a reach to say that a dog around you has died now if you look and let's take a quick look at her her social media here you can see bailey what a sweet little bailey um you can see that september 1st 2001 she posted this is all open on her facebook page by the way i did not have to friend her to be able to see this it took me a couple seconds to type in the name lisa cash which of course he knows because she's applied to be on the show and they've hired her to be on the show and she's filled out all this paperwork. It takes, I mean, go try it. Go look on Facebook or Instagram and type in Lisa Cash and you'll see the picture of a woman with red hair and you will say, this is the right Lisa Cash. You're on the page. Two, 30 seconds, you'll be seeing the same things I'm looking at. So here's in 2001, here's Bailey. And it shows that it was a rescue. And then throughout the years, you can see she loves her pet. She had him for a very long time because she got him in 2001. Here, this is 2012. And there's another picture of Bailey. What a sweetie. Look at that. And another one of Bailey. And another one of Bailey. And here she is with Bailey right there. And then here's Bailey has, has his angel wings. Wishing you're close by this season and always. And there's Bailey. And that was 2017, I believe. I think that's what it was. That that uh, uh, Bailey got his angel wings. So what am I saying with all this? I'm saying that Thomas John and the seatbelt psychic people are willing to manipulate the grief of anybody just to get their show. And this is all findable. It was super simple to find this information. And he didn't have to go very far. So about the dog being attacked, I'm sure that's on her Facebook page or her Instagram page, if you should want to look. Um, I, I'm i not too interested. I know that it's on there somewhere. All he said is, I heard you were attacked. And then she went into the detail. Because remember, sitters are always trying to hold on to that moment that they're in connection so it it helps them to to kind of give a little bit give them some more information plus she's an actress so she's very comfortable being on the screen so i thought it was also interesting i don't know if you you saw the the black car that's always following behind him and that he's always making right turns i have a couple articles on this on this i think it's important to to pay attention to what's going on plus if you look at it again you might want to watch the video again turn off the sound and just watch the what's going on behind him well i guess you'd have to leave the sound on 
because what you're looking for is he's mid speech, he's saying something, and then the background doesn't match what he was just at. So it's like it's been spliced. You can tell how it's been spliced. And you see that happening a lot in the show. I mean, that's true in all all reality shows, all shows ever, anywhere. They're going to be splicing them as much as possible. But the thing is to notice that this is a psychic reading that he's trying to say he's communicating with the dead. And so when you start splicing things and cutting and, and editing and moving things around, then it's not a way of saying it's genuine communication with the dead because now you're saying that um, I'm just manipulating words. I could make Lisa say almost anything and agree to almost anything that he, he's going to say. I mean, those could have been completely different statements that she said and then he and then the editing team to make him look as good as possible has just changed around to be able to get um, the best possible because they want to reflect Thomas John the best. They want to have season two. That's, I mean, that's obviously the goal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very short one. It um, showcases how easy it is to manipulate emotions for pets as well. Like, like I needed to tell you that, of course, anybody who's owned, a, who's had a pet in their life that they've loved and has loved them would know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just more manipulation of people's emotions. I find it cruel. If you see that I, I missed anything, Thomas John certainly did. No dead people came around her. Well, she had in her life as a was the the dog. And if you saw anything else that's missing, she said Bailey's name. I caught it this time listening to it, but it was very quick the way she said it. But Thomas John never mentioned the dog's name again, even though I'm sure he knew it. He also knew there was going to be another dog coming soon because he knows how to use Instagram and Facebook and see where she's posting those comments about that you think there's anything else I missed, please let me know in the comments of the video and please subscribe and share this video. I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day.